welcome to the duck pyramid where i rate my pet ducks from worst to best based on their behavior the last week please give a warm welcome to our two special guests this week munchkin and avocado toast at the bottom of our pyramid this week we have mr whip it's honestly really disappointing to see mr whip be so low after he was doing pretty great for quite a while during mating season but that ship has sailed mr whip was absolutely horrible to the female ducks this week, especially to Munchkin. I'm sure she has a lot to say about that. Like she was saying, she was chased around the yard, chased around the pond, forced to hide in the dog kennels, and unfortunately, that landed Mr. Whip in duck jail for two days. <laughs> Moving on, we have Bubbles. So as some of you may remember, Bubbles has been having some trouble sometimes where at bedtime she runs underneath the coop. Well, Duck Dad put an end to that by putting up stones underneath the coop so that she could no longer run in. But we only got two sides done, so you know where Bubbles went? She went to the side that she never goes to because somehow she knew that that is how she could get under the shed. And then yesterday, after she did that again, even though she knew that the sides were blocked off at this point, she goes under there and then starts to freak out because she can't figure out how to get back out. And I was like, girl, you did this to yourself. And up next we have Maple. I hope nobody thought he was gonna improve this week because he didn't. It's just that Mr. Whip was significantly worse than he was. Like I've been saying for the past couple months about Maple, he's not been too nice to the ladies, especially Sugar. In fact, he will literally wait at the bottom of the stairs in the morning for Sugar to be let out of her crate just so he can try and mate with her. But of course, I have to rescue Sugar and pick her up and carry her over to the pen so she can swim before he gets a chance to do that. But he literally waits for her, which is just terrible. And up next, we have my pet snail. It's strange even calling it my pet snail because realistically, it's not just one snail anymore. You see, I actually bought a moss ball. I never intended to be a snail parent. I bought a moss ball. A couple weeks later, I see, oh, a tiny little snail, no big deal. It'll probably help clean my tank or whatever. No, it was actually three snails or four snails. I'm not quite sure. Um, and that, that's when I knew we had a problem because soon after, they just laid eggs. Now we're gonna have hundreds of snails. They're not even, they didn't even lay the eggs on the glass so I could like take them out. No, no, they're all over the plants. The snail eggs are everywhere. My life is about to be taken over by snails and I'm not excited. And up next we have avocado toast. Sorry girl, but you landed yourself here because you pooped on Munchkin while you were in the car the other day. And I didn't really feel like cleaning her, first of all. But second of all, it also really smelled. I don't know why, but Munchkin, her poops don't usually smell that bad when she poops in the car. Avocado toast. <sighs> I gotta roll the windows down. What do you have to say about that? Are you trying to fight me? Oh, did you want to see yourself? Yeah, that's you. Do you want to look? That's you. No, you can't eat yourself. That's a, that's a picture girl. And up next we have Sugar. It's pretty rare that we actually see Sugar on the second row and not the bottom row, but unfortunately Sugar's attitude still has not improved. I try so hard to make her swim in the morning and swim before bed, but all she wants to do is just sit in a corner and not associate with the other ducks. And even though the Drakes have actually been spending a little bit of time in duck jail more than usual, so she has been out with the lady ducks for a few days, she doesn't want to hang out with them. She just wants to be in her sugar shack. And I'm like, girl, I'm trying to give you an opportunity to like make friends and she's just antisocial. Also, I will say sugar has been taking absolutely terrible care of her feathers recently. I put her in the pool. I'm like, please wash yourself. And she's just like, no, I don't feel like preening my feathers today. And I'm like, girl, you are so dirty. Next we have donut. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, it's not like Donut did anything particularly bad this week. She's just up to her usual Donut things, and that never really means anything good. And leveling up, we have Chip. 
I gave Chip a hamster treat and usually he doesn't really eat treats because he's really picky and he only wants to eat his seeds, but he actually ate his treat and I was really proud of him for that. So go Chip. And up next we have Raven. Now I really hate to say this, but there's nothing particularly great that Raven did. It's just that like the majority of these ducks did something bad and Raven didn't. Did Raven go under the coop? No. Did Raven harass female ducks? No. So Raven did a good job this week, you know? Nothing to really complain about compared to like the vast majority of the ducks and other animals on this page. But you know who did do good stuff this week? Our top duck, Munchkin. That's you. Munchkin had a fun-filled week of making cameos for Mother's Day, going out to eat ice water, and of course she even got to try slushies this past week, which she had a really fun time filming that video. She walked around on the deck eating all the spiders, and she helped film quite a few quacktastic videos if I do say so myself. So shout out to Munchkin. Are you falling asleep? She's literally falling asleep. She doesn't even care. Bottom of the pyramid for not paying attention while I was calling your name during the pyramid. Do you have anything to say? I'm just kidding. You put in a lot of hard work and you definitely earned your top spot this week. So good job, Munchkin. 